I've just hit a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel and in this video I want to tell you what that actually means to me and it might not be what you think. Hi I'm Bev Thurgood and I have been trying to grow this YouTube channel now since April 2023 and in the last four or five months I've really knuckled down to try and grow uh, towards monetization and I've been doing some videos tracking my monetization journey and two of the criteria for monetization are to reach 1000 subscribers and to get 4000 public watch hours within the last 12 months or 365 days and I hit the thousand subscribers yesterday evening and it has been a goal that I've had for, well, since starting this channel. And it's something I've been really working towards. But I was really quite surprised when I sat down with my trusty journal and journaled around what that actually means. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different in this video and actually read my journal entry from this morning. I don't always but sometimes do my morning pages and I got this very lovely new journal uh, just a day or two ago. I always have a journal on the go and I particularly like this one and I've been journaling um, pretty consistently for the last couple of days so if you'll indulge me I'm literally going to read my journal entry for today because I think it's quite significant. So I'm going to read it verbatim. This is this is the journal entry. So I won't be looking at the camera, but I will do my best to keep looking up occasionally. Friday, 20th of September 2024. Yesterday I hit a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. I sat there repeatedly hitting the refresh button on YouTube Studio, looking at 999 on screen, desperately waiting to see four figures pop up. When it finally did, I felt this wave of emotion, not sure what name to give it. Not excitement, not happiness. More a sense of relief. I took a screenshot so I could brag about my huge success. And it's just as well I did, because when I next hit refresh around 30 seconds later, the number on the screen was back to three figures, nine, nine, nine. And there it stayed for another two hours. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Jeez, what is the matter with me? It's becoming an obsession. A couple of minutes later, a thousand and one. Okay, it's real. I can relax. But then my head starts. Right, next goal is the 4,000 watch hours. I post a photo of my 1,000 subscribers into a new YouTube group that I'm in. But immediately I add, now to get to the 4,000 public watch hours. No time to stop and celebrate this milestone. No time to reflect on the time, the effort or the money that I've invested in getting here. Just a quick wave of an emotion that I can't even name. And it's time to move on to the next goal. As I finish the post into this new group, I grab my journal and I write down my goals. 4,000 watch hours by Christmas 2024 and, th and 10,000 subscribers by Christmas 2025. What the actual fuck? Who cares and why do I feel this drive to grow and grow. Why at 58 years old is this so important to me? I remember when we bought our car, 
It was the first brand new car we've ever owned. We're not car people. But the enjoyment of getting to choose the colour, the interior design, the additional features, not having to make do with someone else's choices, picking it up and driving it off the forecourt for the first time. That new car smell, the fear of clipping the curb or having a prang making me drive so cautiously, feeling so special in my brand new car. Then a week later and the novelty was gone. It was, after all, just a car. The excitement and the novelty short-lived. How quickly the shine is lost from those must-have shiny objects. How brief and fleeting the dopamine boost. Like a hunter whose adrenaline is charged as he goes in for the kill, just to crash out with exhaustion when the prey is slain and the thrill of the chase has passed. Yes, I'm proud to hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm proud of myself for the hours of learning I've put in, trying to hone my skills. I'm proud of the commitment I made to myself and for the consistency and self-discipline I've found to stick to my goals. I'm proud of the community I've built on my journey and I'm humbled by the encouragement and the support I'm given every single day. So before I charge ahead towards the next milestone, I'm going to stop and take in the moment. I'm going to stop brushing this moment aside with a dismissive, oh, you just got lucky. I'm not going to tell myself that I cheated because other people gave me a helping hand. I'm not going to dismiss this achievement or the work involved by telling myself it doesn't count because I enjoy doing it. Work still work, even if you love doing it. Where does the silly belief that work has to be endured or else it isn't really work come from? It's a pattern I've seen all through my life. Every success I've ever had, I've attributed to luck, outside influence or just pure chance. I've never been able to acknowledge that maybe it's not luck, but actually effort, commitment, and even, dare I say it, a little bit of talent. And that maybe, just maybe, I've earned the success, that it's my efforts finally paying off. So today, I'm gonna to make a video as a celebration of a goal that I've worked hard for coming to fruition. I'm pushing myself to publicly acknowledge that I'm proud of what I've done, that I didn't give up when it felt like nothing was happening, that stopping to take the time to celebrate the win isn't indulgent, that I need to learn to enjoy the journey more because reaching the destination is only a tiny fraction of the process. And that I need to remember the lessons from 1,000 subscribers in all of their areas of my life. So there you go. That's what getting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube means for me. It's a lesson in remembering that it's not about the, the end point. It's not about achieving the goal. It's about celebrating the effort and the hard work and the lessons and the growth along the way. And the goal, well, that's just a target to aim for. It's not that important. The real joy comes in the growth. Thanks for watching.